Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account, and that is right, guys. We do not want to forget about the Heroes of Esprit event. Um, if you guys know, it seems that everyone is making Masters. It's absolutely amazing because when you get to Masters, you do get a significant amount of loot. Um, a lot of players have been pushing farther than they ever have before. Even a lot of free-to-play players have been pushing up there, which you do get 10 chests, which are awesome. Um, out of here, definitely pick out the common scrolls. 20 Stargazer cards, which I love. Three Tier 4 stones, which again is kind of crazy. Make sure you choose the Tier 4 stones out of here um, just because of the cost to the relationship. Then, of course, you do get the League points. The League points are going to allow you to get a frame, which again is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to continue this progression push. Um, we've gotten to five teams. So most of you have seen my first teams. So we're running the Eins and Albedo. I do have Mortis in here. Mortis very strong. Second team is focused around um, Ulnagrez, which using Athelion here. Traditionally, um, this is a good solid PvP comp, is utilizing Athelion here because of the burst damage that she has within PvP. Um, this is Lucretia, and you can see, guys, we're running four support heroes, including Tassie. A lot of players asked if you still use Tassie. Yes, we do for PvP. Um, she is still pretty strong. This is a strong formation to run. Again, focus on building out and really amplifying Lucretia. This one is uh, similar to the five pole, so we'll actually have the link there from Lorazin. We'll have the Eron like a combo, which I love. Sophia has crowd control, which I love. And then, of course, some of her skills um, are going to go on Mishka in the front because Mishka will actually go right into the mess of heroes. But it is a very, very strong combination with this build. And then my final one is Flora. So this is kind of a stall comp. Um, so it is Flora with, of course, Prince of Persia with the um, massive stuns that he has in here. We have Thorin that you have to go twice. We have Kalthar that will actually die and come back with the um, Spectral Resurgence. And then, of course, we have Taylene, which can be up and down throughout the entire one while Flora is raining. Now, the big thing with my Flora, guys, is she is maxed out. She's got a plus 30 signature item. She's got 9 and 9 furniture. She is very strong in here when it comes to the PvP build. So again, guys, those are the five teams that I'm running. Um, I, I feel like even with the level deficiency, we've been pushing levels for a while now. Should be fairly easy to get through these team comps. Remember, you only have to have three wins and then you will pro progress to the next stage. Um, I'm hoping, again, it's not going to take an incredible amount of time to get through here um, because I want to push to Masters. I usually wait till day four, but now we're doing it at day five because then... Um, like I said, a lot of players have said that Masters is not incredibly hard to hit um, now. So I, I'm hoping again to make a little bit of progression there. Tassie, boom, right off the bat with the sleep. Absolutely love it, guys. Aziz locking heroes down. There's the sleep again. Allowing Lucretia just to run around and do her absolute crazy damage thing. That we always see. Wukong, pretty strong in PvP um, just because of the crowd control factor that he has. But we took them out relatively quick right there. I'm giving us a victory and moving us up to pick up more Essence. Guys, we have been farming this Essence for an incredible amount of time, though. And even with our 30% reduction rate here, it should, again, be pretty easy to get through here. Um, I am always going to challenge the top team because, again, I am still pretty far down. Even the 30 million right there, um, we have a really big deficiency not only um, are overpowered really with our level and then also with the build of the heroes that we have specifically. So right there we can see the gates of Diamond 1. As long as they're around 30 million, I feel like we're, we're pretty strong. Um, 30, 35, 38. I, I feel like we can definitely make a little bit of progression. There's one at 35. But even looking here, for a lot of players, guys, it is incredibly hard to build out all the teams. It, it is incredibly hard to build out five teams um, in PvP. It does get expensive. That is the reason why PvP is really for um, a lot of the pay-to-win players is the sheer cost. Picking up our chest here, guys, we are going with the engraving mats in here um, because we're still trying to build up our Awakened Disease that we pulled today. Here, 42 million. You can see they're getting a little bit closer. But even if we suffer a defeat, guys, with the new build that they put in here, um, you can see right here we lose 30% less trophies. That's right, guys. So even if we win a couple, we do unfortunately suffer a defeat. 
we're losing 30% less trophies, which again is going to make a really big difference when it comes to how far, um, how far down the ladder we're falling with the defeat. And again, looking, we're about 12 levels ahead right now. And I'm hoping we can maintain that deficiency 47. See, and even the difference between here, looking at six points, um, to drop 5 million points um, to only, or 5 million rating to only drop six points, definitely look at the fights that are in here, guys. 163, again, they are the exact same combat rating. So we're gonna buy a couple tickets in here. And I normally do, when I do my progression pushes later on within here, I usually do buy a couple tickets which again, we're pretty close to that 10,000 mark. I'm wondering if just a lot of players have pushed to that 10,000 mark, and that's why either that or we're just really powerful, really overpowered coming through here. Because again, it doesn't seem like it's gonna to be too difficult, but as we get into the Masters, um, I would love to get to the top. I believe it is 2,000 within that Masters division. Boom, and there we go. There is another chess guys picking up some more of our engraving mats which i absolutely love and now is when the points start just falling off so we got a victory there um we're about 100 points away but you can see guys the the teams still the the power rating were pretty were, were significantly over where the power rating of these teams is falling so 46 for 80 this should do it guys to push a little bit more into the masters and again, I was gonna wait to do this, but I don't wanna forget it. I forgot it last time and we actually went into um, the very, very, very final hours, guys. So there we go. So now we are into the league play. So we're into Masters. Um, and of course, the big one we wanted here, guys, is not only picking up those points, but picking up the Stargazer cards. But can we push to get a medal? That's gonna be a little bit, um, a little bit tougher, but you can see, guys, we go from 200 of our league points to 1,000 of our league points, guys, in the top 2,000. Um, we have to see what the formations look like because I believe this takes us to Team 6 and Team 7. Um, I'm going to have to consult Newton on this one. Newton is my absolute go-to when it comes to PvP formations. Um, we have Awakened Disease, which is pretty strong in here. We have a couple heroes built that I feel would do really well including Awakened Disease. Um, Team 7, we have, I believe, some Wilders in here. We have Tassie in here. I'm going to have to figure out exactly what we're going to look for within those PvP formations. Again, I, I don't PvP, guys. Most of you know, um, if you've seen my videos, things of that nature. I really do not PvP. So I know a hero like Helios, absolutely, guys. I see him in a lot of PvP formations. Um, I see Morail in some. I see Zafriel in some. Um, we also have Zolrath in here, which I like. We have Mihiro. We have Kazard. Um, Mizoth, I know, is pretty good. We also do have Joker and Queen. That's a pretty strong combination. We have Ezio in here. Again, I'm going to look. I know Respin is pretty good when it comes to PvP. Um, we're going to have to see what formations are going to kind of work in here. Um, we can see 57. So it looks like this team might be a little bit easier. But again, guys, I'm just going to throw some heroes in here. We'll throw Monkey King in there. Um, we'll go. Let's go with Orthos. Why not? Because so we'll do some crowd control. There we go. Next team. And again, they, I really do have to figure these out, guys, um, to try to get in if we can really push to that top, to, the, to that very top. That top 2,000 would be absolutely amazing. I know Damon's pretty tough to deal with. And here we have Raku. You know what? I have Saurus built. I'll, I'll go ahead and drop Saurus in here just for the simple fact that we do have him built. We'll put our crowd control in the middle and see exactly how these battles are going to look. And again, there we buffed up Ainz, which means a big ultimate is coming. Boom. So not too bad. First one, again, we really might have to go through and um, pick and choose our battles. Even there, guys, Athelia just absolutely destroyed Oden on the enemy side, um, which is really cool to see. Which is the reason why a lot of players, again, do utilize her within PvP. And they're running Merlin in this comp, which is kind of an interesting combination. Um, remember, Aziz locks out heroes. 
but we got to get a chance, guys. We got to get the alts in here. There we go. This is going to be a really interesting fight between the, the very similar. Of course, they have the damage mitigation over here. Which makes a really big difference. If we can take down one of these enemy targets, guys, which I think we took out Aziz on their side. I think we're going to have this one down. Got the sleep. I think I seen Rowan drop right here. The enemy Rowan drop right in the back. But guys, look. Look at the amazing dodge block resist. Super cycle again. We got the sleep. The mitigation, I don't think we're going to get anyone down. But I'm not sure if a, a if this is going to give me a defeat. Again, not super familiar with the PvP aspect. Um, but I don't think we're going to have enough to take this enemy team down, this enemy Lucretia down. Oh, we did. We took them both down with 12 seconds left. Very nice. So battle four, guys. That one was really easy on that one. So we took out four, so we swapped spots. So we went to 1942. We went out 59 spots, guys. So where does that put us? That puts us in legend. Wow. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to reach out to Newton. I, I want to see where we can say. I know we do have a couple days left, guys, but I have to get my defenses up here. Um, have to try to get it. Legend of... Very cool, guys. Look through the door. And we are on the board. Look at that. First time ever we are on the board with FHG. Again, super stoked to see this, guys. Um, we, are in, we are on the board. So we can go through and we can actually fight a couple other players in here, see where we can get to. Um, I hope we stay here. It's very cool to see uh, the PvP aspect. Again, I'm, I'm not super familiar with it, but look at the Legends Tower, guys. First time I've ever seen it. Super excited that I decided to push this. I, I again, have never seen this aspect of AFK Arena. In three years of playing, um, I have never seen it. So again, um, very cool to see you we're, we're right down there the the glowy little fhg youtube but guys I'm, I'm gonna have to consult the the masters of the pvp guild on here um very very cool to see very cool so let me know in the comments guys it is awesome to see the legends tower um i i've never made it this far again in pvp before um, but that is absolutely awesome. i um, just got to see if we can hold it for the next five days. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very cool to see the tower. And as always, thank you guys for watching.